Hi there and welcome to my video. In this video I'll be doing a demonstration of a puppy in colored pencils. If you're new to my channel I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, this way you'll never miss a video. Now let's get started. To begin this drawing I started with the eyes. I find that the eyes are very important on every single piece I make, but also when you're drawing an animal this light, it can be a huge advantage if you start with the eyes or the nose. The reason for this is that those areas are the darkest areas you'll find. Having the darkest areas down will help you a lot in judging your values, especially when working on an animal that is light because this can be very hard in colored pencils. When you want to draw animals realistically, it's very important to follow your reference and make sure that your first strokes go in the right direction. Not only that, but also that they are the right length. The length of the fur varies on the ears and the forehead and the muscle and the neck all over the face and really nailing the length will matter. Here I decided to draw in the nose to better help me judge my values. I was having a hard time making sure that my dark areas got dark enough and my light areas weren't too light. You'll see me spend a lot of time on jumping from areas to area to area. I do this a lot when I work on light animals because I find that the best way to go forward is slowly and even. On some animals I'll finish like one ear at a time or one side of your face at a time. But with this creamy color I find that it's easier if you build overall layers slowly and steady.
was finished with the neck, I actually put my reference photo away. This is a trick I've learned from Lisa on La Croix Fine Art. This will help you, you know, add those final touches that makes the drawing yours. And also, this is where you really have your artistic ability to look at what could make this picture better. To add in some dimension, I used a lot of French grey and also some pink shades and a bit of yellow. In general, when I work on animals in this creamy color, I steer away from using a lot of yellow. You're tempted to do it, but it's not a very natural color and the end result will be not that realistic looking. As a last step, you'll see me add whiskers. Here I added some dark whiskers, but I also used the Touch Up Texture and Titanium White Powder in a mixture to draw in some white whiskers. Once it has dried down, I take my X-Acto knife and I scrape them off so it's in a really, really sharp point. And that was it for this drawing. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a comment and maybe like this video, it would make me very happy. Also, don't be afraid to come up with ideas for what you would like to see or explain better. Um, I really want to teach you guys some of the methods I use, so don't be afraid to do that. Anyways, I'll see you guys the next time.